Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. Uh, if you're wondering why I'm in back in my old creative world right now, uh, one of the things I noticed in the last episode, I was actually watching my video back, and I was talking about uh, them showing the center of mass on the objects now. Uh, what I didn't realize is, I don't know if you can really see it, but you can actually see the weight of the actual structure. So on this one, for instance, we have 40, 43,000 kilos, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess. Uh, I did notice a bit of a thing, though, is wherever you have a hinge or a, a rotating plate, it creates a new center of mass for each individual object, which could explain why some of these things like this get really laggy. But So that kind of makes it confusing about like actual structures. This, for instance, it's not too bad, it's just the tail. But I was checking out the tank, for instance, and it actually has two centers of mass, one for the actual body and one for the turret. So when I went over here, uh, I'm gonna gonna have to get used to jumping back and forth to create between creative and survival all the time if I do this. Uh, where is it? There it is. So on the turret it says 16,000, and I was thinking, well, that's an awfully high center of mass for, and awfully light for a tank this size, and then. I was looking over here, and you can actually see the other one down below, and that one says 98,000. So then I thought I'd go around and uh, check the weights on some of the things here, and uh, as you saw, Lucy was 43,000. Uh, tank's about 110,000. I'm going to assume these are kilos. Uh, I checked a few other things out too, and we'll go check that out in a minute, uh, which was actually quite surprising. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you will agree, but then you look at the centipede here. And it's got a center of mass in each individual section. So each section weighs about 2,100. So you'd have to count up the sections, add them together, and that'd give you your total center, uh, total mass. Now it makes you wonder where the actual center of mass on this would be. Uh, theoretically, it should be right about there, but it's telling me that's in between every section. Uh, the other one was the the X wing here. The X wing was actually quite surprising. Let's see if we can get over that quickly. Uh, that was actually the first thing I checked as far as the center of mass goes was on the X-Wing to see just how center it was and how balanced it was and why it flies so good considering the fact it doesn't have any stabilization. And definitely gotta get a faster jetpack. Even in creative I'm bitching about my tools. But you look at this, the, the X-Wing here and look at that. It's it's a little front heavy, but that's good. That's actually where you want it. And that's just to get it a little bit nose down that helps you get the extra speed boost. It was actually surprisingly light at what? Not even 10,000. Not even 10 tons. Quite impressive. And I checked the spider too. The spider was crazy. Uh, basically, like, each leg has like three centers of mass because I got so many things going on it. We'll go check this out quickly, then we'll go uh, hit up the helicarrier. I'm not even going to bother going to White Shade because of the number of hinges I got on that thing. Uh, be more yellow than blue at this point. Uh, we'll take a look at our old friend Charlotte here. And let's see what we got going on here. Oh, looks, like I forgot to, looks like I forgot to paint a few things. But then as you can see, we've got the center mass floating right in the middle. So it's telling me that each leg section, just a leg, weighs 1,600 kilos. And then of course you have the the shoulder here, which is 1,700, and then you have the whole body here, which if you can see the blinding light, is about 22,000. So let's go take one last peek at another iconic build, I'll call it. So here we are, the largest thing I have ever built in this game. As you can see, I went all in trying to get this thing to fly, and it did. With extreme lag, it is actually at a pretty good frame rate right now because it's planted and it's not going anywhere. I accidentally loaded up the, loaded up the save file where it was unplanted. Uh, after about two minutes of loading, the game finally loaded. I was getting about three frames a second and there was nothing here. Uh, but this one is actually a surprising one. Uh, for those of you that have know about this build, you probably have some guesses at how heavy this thing was, is. Uh, I had a, a guess myself, and I was way off. So what's your guess? Go ahead, pause the video, and put your guess in the comment. We'll go with uh, the number that you're seeing on the other things, like uh, the 43,000 on Lucy and the 114,000 on the tank. So go ahead and make your vote now. All right. So now, 
the real truth is. And where was this one? This one was downstairs. Downstairs in the the maze of air blades. Well, maze is actually outside. This is actually organized. Let's get that hover mode on. Actually, it doesn't really matter. And I think it was right about here. So, there we go. 784,000 kilos. So, close to 800 tons, which is actually a lot better than what I was expecting. I was expecting about 3,000. But there we go, and actually surprisingly it did fly. Uh, unfortunately, as you can see, it took a lot more than what I was expecting. Uh, one thing I do want to check is see if they actually say a lift, lift rating on these, and they don't. Which would come in handy if it's showing block size, block weights, that they should be able to show lift rating on some of the other things, like torque ratings and stuff like that, and they don't. They just have the weight and the amount of power they use. But anyways, I'm back to survival. And here we are back in my survival world. So I have done a little bit of work since uh, last episode. I went ahead, gathered up some biomass, found an iron mine just over here, grabbed some iron, some carbon, got some stuff uh, printed up. Uh, but I was doing a little bit of exploring too, and I have found a nice little area up here that we could probably start building. Uh, there's uh, some godillos over there. We'll we'll go say hello to them eventually. We'll just leave them there for now. Oh, and this thing is growing back. There's uh, actually a couple of them around, and they seem to grow back every day now. I thought it was every couple of days. But I'll have to get in the habit of collecting those. Oh, did I just get hit by something? I have no idea. I just have everything go red there for a second. But we have a nice, beautiful area up here. What was that bounce? That was weird. <laughs> Got a nice little area up here. We can start building, do some work. Uh, there are some poisonous plants. Uh, probably go check to see if these are harvestable again. Uh, I did have some fireflies over there. I was trying to grab some iron and they were you know, right there. Somewhere around there. But these are harvestable. Let's go ahead and grab these quickly. Before those fireflies come, they're right there. They don't see me, so let's get out of here. And I gotta watch out for this poisonous guy right over there. But what I want to do is I actually want to start getting through the tech tree, start unlocking some stuff. I was looking through what we need to get the miner, and we don't really have too far to go after we build the ceiling tile. Thank you for interrupting me. I should probably turn that off. But uh, to get up to the miner, I uh, need to get through the armory and... What was the other one? The other one was uh, the ceiling panel, which just happens to be unlocked. I unlocked that when I built the printer. Uh, we're back here at the old crash site. As you can see, I've cleared out some trees. I'm gonna try to keep this as like a bit of a memento. Uh, there was another s section right there. We'll just leave all this stuff here. Don't mind the holes. That was just me looking around for iron and whatnot. Just adds a little bit more chaos to the, to wreck the crash site. But anyways, let's go ahead and start getting some progress done here. I actually do have to drink some water, drink that. And, so what is next on the build menu? The next on the build menu is the ceiling panel. So let's go ahead and build that, to get that out of the way. And, like so. So now, as you can see, that's how heavy it's getting already, and when you come to th start to think about the helicarrier, 785,000 really isn't that much. If I've got 28,000 here already, and this is this is nothing. But anyways, so the next is going to be uh, well, what am I trying to get to? I'm trying to get to the miners. What I need, but we need the food, medium food and drink machine, which would be there. Which we need the elk. L conveyor, which is there, which is the refinery, which is there, which is the stasis chamber, which is here, which is a compact armory, which is there. So let's go ahead and get this built. I should have everything on me. Okay, and we'll go ahead and take that apart because I don't really need it right now. And I'm being careful because I do not want to take anything apart right now because I actually need everything. Alright, so that's compact armory. 
and stasis chamber that's actually going to come in handy because then I can actually take it, take apart my escape pod if I really need the resources. But we are actually going to leave this connected. And what color do I want? Now let's go for a blue bed. Why not? Eh, that's not too bad. All right, let's go ahead and oh yeah, that's right. Connect that up to there, and now we have a bed. So now, what's next on the list? Now oh, we can get the radar already. Now this is going to be an issue because I need to. Oh, shut up. <laughs> uh, that's not what I need. I need... Oh, yeah. We need... Titanium. Oh, cobalt. Ooh. So, that's going to be a little while before we get to that. Now that we get all this stuff set up, it's time to get some more stuff crafting. While we're at it, we'll get... Another 20 of each. Why not? And... Yeah, let's go... Start setting up our place here. Now let's get into survival so we can eat our capsules. So yeah, that's where we're gonna be. We're gonna set up. We're gonna go set up up here. We actually have a couple little ponds nearby, which is handy, so we can get some water pumps going eventually. Uh, I was looking at the uh, whereabouts the uh, deuterium generators are, and they're actually after the uranium generators. So yeah, it's gonna be a while before we that get that kind of power going. But, uh, the biomass generator seems to be a little more efficient than it used to be last time. Uh, you know, I put a, like 80 biomass in there and just out of 100 watts it's going to get me like 40, out, 40 hours. Uh, anything good here? Probably not. Probably a little bit of silicone if that. Oh, a little bit of iron. Could use that. Always use iron. It's like Minecraft. Never have enough of iron. Especially if you play a mod pack. Yeah, it's painful. So let me uh, clear a bit of space here and get some stuff laid down. I'll bring you back when I have a floor set up. Okay, so I got a little bit of a platform here. I did an 8x8. It takes so long to try to do this without even batteries. So I got some batteries being made in the printer there. Uh, these fruit trees definitely seem to be respawning quite frequently. Like every five or ten minutes because I've harvested these things like four times since I've been here already I do have a fair amount of seeds and fruit already plus the stuff I have over at the staging post and what I'm gonna do is actually let's get a couple of containers set up for now I haven't really figured out where I'm gonna put everything I do have to get some more tech unlocked more stuff built go back into build here where's my small container it is right here uh, definitely gotta get the power set up too. Um, hmm. Ah, little black boxes. Why not? We'll get a couple of them going. So I got storage because until I get a better suit, I got no storage capabilities whatsoever. You're looking at it right now, and uh, it's painful. Anyway, so let's go and uh, get our stuff back. I'm gonna go dismantle everything. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna leave the crash site there. We're gonna, we'll do with something like with that a little later. See, look at this. Ten minutes and this has already respawned. So food shouldn't be an issue. You know, if it comes down to it, we can eat bio based. Uh, I also noticed too, we got two brand nests over there. We we'll have to go uh, deal with those guys later. Maybe that'll be our food source. They say eating bugs is nutritious. Well, <laughs> we'll live off of bugs, shall we? I just don't know how often they'll respawn. Like, if I kill them all, are they going to all respawn eventually? Or is that going to be it? Uh, there were some cows over somewhere, too. And I can't remember where they were. We'll definitely have to check that out. So, let's fill up my inventory with all this good stuff. I know I could just dismantle it. It's actually easier that way should take everything into your inventory all right what do we got in here we are not taking that apart we'll take that one apart not that we get anything back from it and oh all right well we'll have to stick some biomass in here for now and we'll shut it off now that's not that it's using anything anyways all right uh, what do we have? 
Yeah. Not anymore. Nope, that's the wrong button. There we go. Alright, that is full, so I can't do anything with that right now. And there is that. Alright, so. Off we go. Then we'll go, once we get over there, we'll get the, another generator set up and get some of the doodads and gadgetry we need to build the things that we need to build things. Just kind of redundant, but that's besides the point. It's almost like Skyblocks. If you ever played a Minecraft Skyblock, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And in order to get something, you need something. In order to get that thing you need, you need, you need to do something, but you can't do that thing until you get the thing that you actually need in the first place. So you got to find other ways of doing it. And this is actually a bad time for me. All right, let's get uh, let's get the stasis chamber and the generator down. I need my bed. I need a, oh, it's there. So we'll go ahead and we'll change this to oh sure we'll do an orange generator. I'll we'll stick it over here for now. Like so finish that up. Oh, painfully slow. <laughs> I know I'm gonna be complaining about that for a while. I think I'm gonna get into the the armory soon. Uh, go with the blue. Now we need a switchboard. Seven switchboards. That will make them white. Why not? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. I know. Oh, no biomass. Quick, quick, quick. Run, run, run. Ooh, see you by the bell. Alright. When it rains, all you gotta do is take a nap. Okay, so we got that set up. We gotta get uh, our printer, which is gonna be six. Yes. I don't have any frames on me. Of course I don't, because they're in here. Frames, polarity, and mechanical parts. I don't think I need those, but I'll take those anyways. Uh, this is all gonna be a temporary setup until until we get some more resources going. Uh, well, we'll use one printer for now. Composites. Okay, composites. Fine. Alright, give me power. And give me the right key button, of course. Okay. So, I'll get all this loaded up in here. Uh, I'll just start crafting. I will have to get some more iron eventually. Uh, do I have anything in here? No, I don't. There's my iron. Take those batteries too. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Okay, so um, get frames, plates, and inventory space. Now we'll take that. We'll put all that in there. And then we we'll go to dismantle what's left over here. So I'm going to go and grab everything that I have left over here, and I'll bring you back when I'm back here. Okay, I got everything moved over. I'm actually just looking at what we have here. I think maybe we'll just go ahead and start unlocking all these builds, or these uh, blocks, and go from there. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of everything, and see what we can do. So the first one was going to be the indoor light. The indoor light is going to unlock... Which is weird because this is higher up in the tree, but we have to unlock this first, but we need this to unlock this. Which kind of makes no sense, but we'll just do it anyways. Yeah, it's always handy to have a light around anyways. Uh, we'll just stick it right in here for now. There we go, that's the right button. And go ahead and finish that up. Oh, glass. Glass? What do you mean glass? And I have no carbon. Uh oh. I'll be right back. Okay, I got some carbon. There was actually a couple of uh, iron boulders behind me. And I also got an achievement, which is surprising considering the fact that most of the achievements that they had in the game didn't even get unlocked for me, even though I had completed them. Let's go ahead and we'll do that. I'll we'll craft one glass. Takes five seconds. 
Should be able to upgrade the printers with a uh, faster printing speed. Okay, so now that unlocks us. Uh, the inner outer wall connector thingamabobber. And it chose to lay it flat for some reason. Fine by me. I do not care. I'm taking it off anyways. Alright, and then Max gets us the armor block. Nice. So, to do this, let's see, medium refinery. Well, we can't. No, that's right, we can't even get the refinery until I get Mark IV plating. Uh, I'm tempted to take that escape pod apart just to do this. Because that refinery is going to be holding us up to get to the miner. Well, we actually need the resources for the miner, anyways. Uh, maybe we'll tough it out. What else can we unlock here? Medium refinery, so we don't get even the, even get the conveyors so we get the refinery. And I can't even make the... Oh, we need four plating for that. I don't have any cobalt. So we might have to go looking around. Uh, could use... Yeah. Everything's basically held back behind... Wait, I got the medium food and drink machine, did I not? No. Now we're stuck behind that conveyor. Well, I guess we're going to have to go get some, some cobalt. I just saw a weird center of mass thing come up in the corner there. I don't know what, the, what that was about. Oh, there it is. You could sort of see it. I'm wondering if it's because it got stuff built up. Oh, that's weird. It's like flickering back and forth. I haven't even built anything in the game's already breaking. Am I really that cursed? I have no idea. But anyways, well, what, what can we do here? Well, I guess we might as well get some walls up, get a little bit of um, a little crap chat going here. So I'll we'll go ahead and make some more glass. May as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab the wall corner. Grab windows. We've got the door. And we don't need the wall with a light. We'll just take the wall. Okay. So why is, I don't know why it wants to place them down like that first. Let's go ahead and just stick that there. And we only need walls here. Uh, in this back corner anyways. We'll definitely have some windows, just don't need a whole lot of them. We'll go to a window here. And yes, I know I haven't changed the color, but that's the beauty thing is, you can change it before you start building everything. So we'll do three windows here. And... One here. And get another wall, which was four. Another corner. And let's see where it's going to be the front door. Front door is going to be on this end, I think. So what did I have? I had a wall and three windows. So we'll go with a wall. Wall and three windows. One, two, three, and then a corner. And what do I have in the back here? Two and one wall. And then what we'll do is we'll just... Go with two windows and a door then. One window. Uh, with the window over here. Oops. That's the wrong spot. And I almost tried to right click to get rid of it. Creative habits, what can you say? Oh, I don't want a wall of one window. That's right. I'm gonna have to get more glass going, I think. Uh, let's get the corner in here. More windows, one, two, and a door. All right, now what color am I going to choose here? Hmm, let's go for a brown shack. Why not? I need glass, I need lots and lots of glass. Grab some more. I don't really like that. Let's try this. How's that look? Maybe black floor. Legs, bikes. 
auto save spike, I should say. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what I want for the color of that building. Should we keep it white? Actually, let's try this. Go with the gray for the building and the black for the floor and see how that looks. Best thing is, since you don't actually need resources for this, you can change it anytime you want. If you don't like the color of the house, you could just repaint it. Simple. Okay, let me eat. Alright, can I get... Oh, I can't. Come on. There you are. And I'm out of glass. And I'm out of carbon. Uh. Alright, what else can we do here? Uh, I can fill that one in. And that one. And that. I need, f I need four more glass. Come on. And. Oh, there you are. Ta da! Now for a ceiling. Okay, so let's see here. What color of ceiling do I want? I'll oh, keep it the same color, why not? There's that floating center of mass again. Oops, damn it. Well, let me uh, save some time here. I'll do a cut while we get this in. I'll get the floor painted, and I'll even throw a light in, because I'll probably have to make a few more resources before that's all done. So I'll be right back. So I just came out to the iron mine here to get a little bit of iron. We got the cows here. I'm going to wondering if maybe we should try to get a little bit of meat to take home. Let's find out. Not very aggressive, are you? Come here, you. Not very fast, either. Four. Yeah, we'll leave the rest of them for now. We just came for a taste. But anyways, let me head back. I gotta get a few more things crafted up, and I'll bring you back when I'm all done. Okay, so we got it all finished up. Uh, when I was coming back from the mine too, a whole bunch of stuff got unlocked. I didn't even realize that never got unlocked before, like the inner post and a couple other things. But let's go ahead and get some light in here so we can actually see what we're doing. You never know, the living in the darkness might make us mad. Or at least more mad than we already are. So there we go. Oh, I missed a few spots on the floor. We'll touch this up quickly. Get in the little corners there. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Yeah, uh, that was that. I gotta admit, the color, the color wheel is really handy. Color wheel, color picker, whatever you want to call it. But it's so easy to switch between things like that. Alright, that is all done. Gotta do that corner there. Go get our front porch. Do, 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 do. Let's get some light here so we can actually see what we're doing. Alright. So, now we got ourselves a little place established. I gotta put a few more things in, like get a food and drink machine going, and then I think we're going to have to get some sort of transportation going. I have no idea what we have right now or what we can afford, but I don't think we're going to be taken to the air, not anytime soon anyways, but we do need to go and uh, find some xanite, some cobalt, 
aluminum will come in handy too. Uh, at the same time too, we should probably get a refinery going. Weird. Goes back and forth. Look at that. 78,000 already. But anyways, I'm going to call the episode here. Uh, got some stuff done. We got a little new shack. Keep us dry. It's not raining through the ceiling anymore. And we also did a little bit more mon mining. But anyways, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And I'll see you next time. Later.